giving up is not an option. Me personally, I can attest to this as I've given up on a lot of things. I had a really bad upbringing. I had, you know, domestic violence in the house, alcohol addiction, being exposed to drugs at early ages, and it was it was a different difficult time. It was definitely a difficult time as a child because you know you don't really know what's going on and you don't really know how that's going to shape your future. You don't know how that's going to shape you as a person, right? You don't know. You could fall into it. You could be exposed to crazy things. Not saying I wasn't, but you know those crazy things that I was exposed to didn't affect me in the way that I thought they would. They affected me in a good positive way. And for a lot of people, they don't. And a lot of those people that are exposed to these types of environments and these types of things give up, right? They give in to the drugs. They, you know, follow in the footsteps of the abuser. They follow in the footsteps of whoever. And these are heavy topics for sure. It's not going to be like this the whole video, I promise. But I'm just trying to give you some some backstory as to where I'm coming from. But... It was, it was tough to get out of it. Like, there's a lot of things that I definitely could have done different throughout my life. And I feel like because I did them the way that I did, it hindered me, for sure. It, it definitely hindered me. I mean, I, I can tell you one right off the bat. I never graduated high school. I dropped out of high school. I was a high school dropout. And that right there screwed me. It absolutely screwed me. But I made the decision, and I can't blame anybody, right? I can't, I can't say that, oh, man it was such and such's fault because of that. No, I made that decision, you know. I didn't finish high school. It is what it is. But I'm going to own that, and I will own that. And I'm not going to give up because it's harder to find a job, right? Recently, in the beginning of this year, actually, I was fired from my job at Amazon, and that was hard. That was a really tough time. I, could, I, I, I still haven't found a job to this day, right? And it's hard to find jobs. I'm lucky to have a girlfriend who is going out there and making money and has a job, right? Because she was fired with me when we were at Amazon. The difficult thing is, you know, as a guy, you, you don't want to be the one that stays at home, right? And it's like, you know, oh my God, it's, it's 2024 and whatever. But like, you know, I feel like a lot of dudes just feel weird staying at home when they're, you know, spouse or girlfriend or wife or whoever is out working, right? You feel weird. It's it's a weird feeling, right? It's it's more uh, accepted nowadays, but it is weird, right? So I'm kind of in that boat. I'm kind of like, I don't know how to feel about it. But at the same time, it's cool because I get to work on videos and have all this free time that most people just wouldn't have. So I'm, I'm very thankful. But anyways, at the beginning of the year when I got fired, I told myself, you know what? Uh, I'm going to try this YouTube thing. Since I got a little bit of free time now, we had a little bit of money saved and... I've tried YouTube in the past, for sure, but that was when I was way younger. I'm 22 now. I'm about to be 23. So, I tried YouTube, maybe when I was 14, 13, 14, around then, and obviously it didn't work out. Not saying it couldn't, but it didn't, obviously. So, I tried again, and it didn't work again, around like 17-ish. I tried making GTA 5 videos, and that didn't work out either. But, I stopped for a little bit, came back, and tried streaming instead right? Because streaming was blowing up and everybody was having fun with it. And at the time, I was playing Apex Legends. And Apex was great. I loved the game, right? It was really, really good. So I started streaming it. I started to try different things. I had friends that were streaming and stuff like that. So, you know, I met a bunch of people through streaming, but that didn't really take off either. That didn't really work. So I said, okay, I'm going to put this down a little bit and just focus on like life, you know, focus on me, focus on getting work done, focus on all that stuff. And then while I was playing Apex and while I was streaming and stuff, I actually had met my girlfriend through the people that I met through streaming and Apex. That was a huge motivator for me, right? Because at the time, I didn't really have much going on. I hadn't had a job yet. I was like 19 or almost 20, I think. Hadn't had a job. And I was just failing. Like I was... People would look at me and say like, oh my god, this guy is the definition of just like gave up. You know what I mean? Around that time as well, I started to work out. I started, you know, watching different like, you know, videos on how to eat healthier and how to and how to like feel better, how to lose weight, how to just be in a better mental state. Right. So I started working out. I originally started my weight loss at like I think it was like three hundred and 
10 pounds. I was, I was big. I was a big boy. What had happened was I started working out and it was hard. It was really, really hard. But around that time is when I started to implant, do not give up in my head. Giving up is failure. You're not a failure, right? I would tell myself that all the time. You're not a failure. You're not. You're just somebody who's doesn't know where they're going right now. That's it. You're just lost. That's it. You're going to find your path and you're going to get on it, right? So I kept going at it. I kept going at it. I kept going at it. After about four months, I had lost like 50 pounds, which is probably not the best way to go about it, right? I wasn't eating as much as I should have been. I wasn't tracking my weight properly. I wasn't tracking my calories properly. I wasn't doing any of that properly, right? I was just winging it. I said, you know what? It is what it is. But I lost weight, right? So I was down to like 260. My goal was 200 pounds. So I told myself, look, I'm going to give myself a year. Try to get it within that year. By the end of the year, I was 210 pounds, I think it was, 210 pounds. And I still looked at that as a failure, but I didn't give up. So it wasn't a total failure. It was just me not hitting the mark, which is okay, right? Nothing happens as planned. And everybody knows that, right? Sometimes things just don't work out the way you intended. And that's okay. But as I kept going and kept going and kept going, I eventually got to meet my girlfriend, which then gave me a huge, like way, way, way bigger boost in confidence, right? Because at the time, I never had like an actual person to talk to, latch on to, you know, just somebody who actually just wanted to be around me for me, you know? So that helped a lot. I started to actually get confidence in myself because of the weight loss. I started to open up more because I just met this girl and things started to look up. So I kept going. She eventually moved down here with me to where I'm at and I started looking for a job. This would have been my first job ever. We got a job at Rite Aid and the Rite Aid wasn't doing very well. It's like a little drugstore of it if you don't know what it is. Uh, it's just a little drugstore, kind of like a Walgreens or a, well, like a CVS kind of, CVS type thing. Yeah, we had a job there and it was okay. It was all right. We lasted about a week. Well, maybe less than that, right? My girlfriend hated the job. I kind of felt disrespected. Like my boss didn't even call me the right name. And so that was pretty discouraging, especially because it was my first job. I also had no idea what I was doing because I wasn't properly trained. And so when I worked the register, a lot of the times I had to ask a bunch of different questions because nobody properly trained me. And it was just really bad. It was embarrassing, right? And at that point, you would think a lot of people would just give up. A lot of people would just give up. But I said, no, it's okay. We're just going to keep going. So we found a different job, right? We found a different job. And this job happened to be at Taco Time. And up until that point, nothing like this had actually happened to me. But while I was working the job, I had like a weird, my doctors still don't know what it was. It might've been like a seizure, like a short little seizure or something. <laughs> I still remember it because it was crazy. I had this moment. I was, I was serving people, right? I was making food. I was doing whatever, but I didn't know actually like what I was doing. Cause yet again, I wasn't properly trained. And it's like, something's up with these people and places that just don't train their new employees. Right. But anyways, I wasn't properly trained and I kept messing up people's orders and these people kept coming in and saying like hey my order's messed up my order's messed up and everybody would look at me like what the hell bro why are you messing up everybody's orders it didn't help that the people helping me make the meals didn't speak english she was a, a little old mexican lady which she was the nicest person ever she was really trying to help she was really trying to get me there but i i just i just wasn't picking it up right like her english wasn't good enough for me to fully grasp and understand what she was saying and so it, it messed me up and I kind of blacked out. I had this moment of just like, I just froze. And my girlfriend saw, she didn't really know what to make of it. Cause at the time I didn't even know where I was. Like I was lost and confused. So I, <laughs> it was bad. Like there's been lots of moments where I've, you know, thought like, oh man, this is bad. But that, that was a really bad moment. I didn't know. Like I thought maybe something was really wrong, you know, but eventually I ended up quitting that job because it just stressed me out. Right. Like I didn't have the proper training. I didn't have proper anything. But after that, we got a job at Amazon and we actually had a lot of luck there. Like we had a lot of luck. We got good pay. We had decent hours. Well, I'd say decent hours. It was only four hours a day, but it was better than, you know, what we had before, better than what I had before. And it was easy to pick up, right? We were just folding clothes, doing whatever, folding clothes and repackaging them because we would sort out returns and stuff. And so it was mainly clothing. We did that and that was easy. It was good. Right. But over time with anybody that's worked a warehouse job, you probably know over time it gets really, 
really really mentally draining right it's depressing there's not a lot that you can do it's loud it's it's boring it's really just it's not it's not something that most people would want to put themselves into if they didn't have to right and at the time we kind of had to because we didn't have any income coming in like we had to have money coming in she has bills i had bills there's things that needed to get done so long story short we worked there for about i think it was eight months and then we ended up leaving because I got into an argument with somebody and we got into a fight, right? It wasn't a, like a fist fight or nothing, just a verbal argument. And I ended up quitting. I ended up leaving. And I realized that I shouldn't have done that. So instead of giving up this time and just quitting and finding a different job, I actually went back. I went back to Amazon and we worked the exact same shift, the exact same schedule, everything, right? So I saw the same guy that I got into the argument with. You know, it was what it was. Everything was cool. But it showed me like, look, you can have bad days. You can have these hard times, right? You can have all of this like crap happen to you. But if you just stop and you don't continue doing things and you don't continue trying, it's over. Because the second that you give up, the second that you don't try anymore, it's done. You'll never, ever do it again, right? It's permanently dead in the water. So you can't. You have to continue going. And it sounds like, oh my God, we know this. Everybody's heard this before, but it's like, I feel like a lot of people hear it, but they never have that moment of clarity. Like, oh my God, I have to, like, I have to do this. I have to keep going. I have to put myself in a position, even if it's uncomfortable to where I can succeed. But that was the moment right there. But anyways, we ended up getting fired. We ended up getting fired because of engine problems and we didn't make it in one day. So it was a no call, no show, even though we have apps for Amazon. You have like an app and you can put in an absence. We put our, we put it in, but they said it was a no call, no show. So they terminated us, which is fine. My girlfriend ended up getting a job and I couldn't find a job because I don't have a high school diploma. So I said, you know what? I'm going to start YouTube. I'm going to put all my eggs in this basket and start YouTube. I'm sure a lot of you guys have thought about YouTube and trying YouTube, but man, it is a roller coaster. Like sometimes, you know, you'll have a super high. Like I had a high, I had a video that hit like, I think it was like 400,000 views, 400 and almost 80,000 views, I think now. And this is like all within three or four months. So I'm thinking, man, I must be doing something right. I must be doing something insane. Like people, people just can't resist. And so I got into this headspace of like, oh man, as long as I put out a half decent video, I'll be good. Obviously that wasn't the case. <laughs> and I started feeling that pressure again right of like oh man if i don't deliver it's over and i started to feel myself give up but then i remember look you can you can have these these down moments and these bad moments but the second that you give up it's all over and you'll never know what actually was and you'll never know if you would have succeeded or if you wouldn't have succeeded so please if there's anything that you take from this video you just can't give up People can't give up because the second you give up, you've given up on everything that could have been and everything that will be if you stop. Thank you.